the game can see the boxing voice. Aaron Cantu, the boxing voice here with Eric Gomez, president of Golden Boy Promotions. Eric, thanks for taking the time. Where does Jaime Munguia rank amongst the young champions in boxing? Uh, he's very young still, obviously. Um, he's got a couple of defenses under his belt. He's still growing. He's still growing. I mean, he's, he's one of the top champions, obviously, uh, but he has so much uh, more growing to do. Uh, I see him being... You know, in a couple of fights, he'll be the top guy at 154. Uh, but there's also a possibility to move up to 160. It really depends how he looks on Saturday after this fight. And, uh, you know, we'll sit down as a team and go from there. Yeah, that was my next question. Do you foresee him campaigning at 154? And if so, how much do you want to see him develop before he gets into the ring with guys like Hurd or a Charlo or any of the other champions there at 154? I, he can compete with them now. I mean, at 54, he can compete with anybody. Uh, but, you know, he is still very young, and he's learning. He's learning every time he's out there. He's learning, and he's, and he's getting more uh, experience. So that's very important to us as well. We're not going to just throw him in right away. I mean, we want to make sure that he's ready when he gets in there with those guys. So, um, you know, but he's been, he's been passing every test. He's been doing very well. Now, obviously, he has a, he has a fan-friendly style. He has great power. Uh, in your own words, what's your assessment of him as a boxer? What are his strengths, and then what are some of the things you think he needs to improve on? Uh, you know, obviously, his power is incredible. Um, he's very aggressive, throws a lot of punches. You know, if uh, improvement, I would say his defense, he has to maybe work a little bit more on his head movement, but he's starting to do that. He's starting to do that, and he's also working on his jab. He's got, he's got a very good jab. You know, as you know, he's very tall and lanky, so if he can develop a really good jab, uh, that's going to be key for him. Good deal. We're looking forward to this big fight on Saturday. Now I want to get to Canelo and Jacobs, a big uh, fight coming up. You guys just announced um, co-promoter in this fight would be Eddie Hearn, and he said, and he's quoted of saying that it's a true 50-50 fight. Um, what do you think about that? You think this is a 50-50 fight between Canelo and Jacobs? Yeah, it definitely is. It's a 50-50. It's a toss -em. It's a very, very tough fight. Um, but Canelo's, that's what Canelo's all about. You know, he's, he, he loves challenges. He gets up for challenges like this. He really wants to make history. You know, he didn't have to fight Jacobs. There's other guys out there he could have fought. Uh, but he wants to make history. He wants to make his mark on the sport, and I love that, and I applaud that. Now he's facing Jacobs. Uh, it would be a unification fight, uh, WBA and I believe the WBC, correct? And then Jacobs brings in the IBF for that unification fight. Is this going into the direction of a potential undisputed route, considering Demetrius Bubu Andrade has a WBO belt and he also fights under the zone? There's a possibility. Um, we're going to take it one step at a time. You know, he's got Jacobs. It's not an easy fight. He's got to get he got to get past him before we can even talk about fighting anybody else. Uh, but you know, also he felt really good at 168. And he said that he felt really good. He felt fast and strong. So, I mean, he, he's opened up the doors at 168, and there's other possibilities there as well. So we'll see. That just opens up a whole list of guys he could potentially fight. You got Zerto Ramirez. You got Caleb Plant, a new fighter, who just got a belt. And uh, David Benavidez. I mean, how would a clash between David Benavidez and Canelo play out, yo? It'll be a good fight. It'll be a good fight. Um, you know, uh, He's a talented young kid. Canelo's way too seasoned for him at this point, I would, I believe. Um, but look, I mean, there's many, many good possibilities. I mean, a Canelo Munguia fight would be incredible. So that's another fight that possibly down the line can happen. You guys would be open to that, uh, considering they're both under your your banner. Oh, of course we would. Of course we would. I mean, but Canelo more more importantly would be open to it because he wants to fight the best. Cool. And then last question, I want you to reflect on the roller coaster ride it's been for Canelo Alvarez. Coming from the suspension, getting the, the fight postponed, fighting Triple G, proving that he's a true champion in the rematch, getting the deal with the zone, $365 million, having a showcase fight against uh, his last opponent, uh, Rocky Fielding, and looking very impressive. Can you just reflect on the roller coaster ride it's been ever since that moment? It's been good. You know, obviously when, when he was suspended, it was a low point. Uh, but he maintained from the beginning, look, this was accidental. And uh, it's behind us now. And he's proved it. 
He's done the test. He's enrolled in Vada now, so there's no issues there whatsoever. And, you know, as long as he's focused and doing what he does best, is training hard and fighting, uh, you know, the sky's the limit for him. And that's, and that's the way he sees it because he does, he does train very hard. His discipline is unmatched. Good deal. And uh, last thing, because I'm a huge heavyweight fan, what did you think of the Wilder Fury fight? It was a good fight. It was a very entertaining fight. Uh, I thought Fury did a lot better than I expected. Yeah. Um, and, you know, he, he showed a lot of heart. And, and, you know, it was a good fight. I, I, just, I just hope that those guys get their act together and they can fight Joshua yeah. and make the fights that the fans want to see. Because that's important. You know, that, I think we're doing our part at Golden Boy Promotions, putting up the best fights. Uh, they have to follow suit as well because that's the only way boxing is going to grow and it's going to continue to grow. I mean, and, and you guys promoted Deontay Wilder's first 33 fights. He was under your banner. How does it feel to kind of see him still continue his success uh, as a champion? Uh, you know, me personally, I'm happy for him. He's a great kid. Um, we worked with him for five years, um, you know, and, and I wish him nothing but the best. I mean, he, he's gotten a lot, lot better. It doesn't surprise me. Uh, he's very dedicated as well, trains hard. Um, but, you know, I, I, he needs those big fights. He needs them. And, and, and a fight with Joshua should be their main focus. You know, put all the, just put all the junk aside and make the fight happen. The voice of the people, the boxing voice. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell icon to get notified anytime one of our videos drops. The sight in the game, can see the boxing boys.